sunglasses. Thanks to Hollywood, they're synonymous with cool. But more importantly, they're meant to protect our eyes from harmful UV rays. If you don't have sunglasses with the right protection, it can have serious consequences. Victim, 43 years old. Possible damage to retinas, even eyelid cancer or cataracts. Cause of death, crappy sunglasses. It came to catch the sun, but it looks like the sun caught him. Australia has some of the highest UV radiation levels in the world. The good news is we also have a mandatory standard for sunglasses. All sunglasses sold in Australia must have a label that shows the lens category, which, which grades UV protection and glare reduction on a scale from zero to four. Lens category zero and one provide limited sun protection, so they're classified as fashion spectacles, not sunglasses. Category two means medium glare reduction and good UV protection. Category 3 also has good UV protection, but better glare reduction than Category 2. And Category 4 has the highest glare reduction. So, Categories 2, 3 and 4 all have good UV protection. But there is another labelling system that provides more detail, developed by Arpanza, the Australian Radiation Protection and Nuclear Safety Agency. Every day, I protect Australia from nuclear disaster. I measure sunglasses. Our Panzer developed the Eye Protection Factor, or EPF, which classifies UV protection on a scale from 1 to 10. An EPF of 10, or UV 400, is the best protection you can get. And that... Hey, are you guys still listening? It's 106 miles to Chicago. We got a full tank of gas, half a pack of cigarettes, it's dark, and we're wearing sunglasses. Hit it. Sorry, just before you do hit it, hi. Check the label to make sure your sunglasses are suitable for driving. Yeah, see, while only idiots wear sunglasses at night, Category 4 sunglasses shouldn't even be worn while driving during the day. OK, now hit it. So, where do polarised sunglasses fit into all of this? You talking to me? Polarised glasses have an optical filter that eliminates glare from reflected light. So you might think they offer the best me. protection. There's a lot of glare here, so I can't tell if you're talking to me. Oh. You weren't talking to me. Sorry, my mistake. Polarised glasses do reduce glare, but they're expensive and they don't necessarily offer the best UV protection. So you might not need them unless you spend a lot of time in high glare situations like fishing or being a taxi driver. Wait, now are you talking to me? What's great is that you don't have to buy really expensive sunglasses to get good UV protection. Doesn't matter if you buy a $400 pair of designer sunglasses or if you buy $15 sunnies from a petrol station. The lens category is what matters. And the real level of sun protection you're getting might be exactly the same. Although the level of fashion might not be the same. You're talking to me? Sunnies like this $800 pair from Prada are described as fashion spectacles because they provide so little UV protection that in Australia, you're not technically allowed to call them sunglasses. And the same goes for all these. So remember, look for lens category two or higher and you'll be fine. Is what I would have said if everyone followed the law, but they don't. A 2013 ACCC survey of 15,000 models found that one in seven pairs of sunglasses did not comply with safety standards. And that can be a problem because sunglasses with no UV protection can actually do your eyes more harm than wearing no sunnies at all. When you put on dark sunglasses, your pupils dilate to let more light in. And if those sunglasses have no UV protection, you're also letting in more harmful UV rays, which means you're worse off than you would be if you were just squinting in the sun. Oh, I feel the need. The, the need, need for stronger enforcement of the mandatory sunglasses regulation. Sunnies shouldn't just be for grown-ups either. It's just as important to protect your kids' eyes. 
The Skin Cancer Foundation says children under 10 are particularly vulnerable to UV rays, so they should wear proper sunglasses whenever they go outside. So remember, don't buy sunglasses if you don't know their lens category. And choose category two or three for everyday use. And that will give me 100% UV protection? Well, if you really want to be sun safe, put on a broad brimmed hat, like the one you have now. And wrap around sunglasses to stop the sun coming in from the sides. And don't forget sunscreen either. Now that's what I call cool. Yeah.